Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about Stripe and walking you through how you can set it up and start receiving payments and sending payouts even if you're a complete beginner. So, let's dive right in and go through this step by step in a super casual way. Alright, first things first, you're going to want to head over to Stripe.com. When you land on the site, you'll see that it's a pretty slick, modern looking platform. Nothing too overwhelming, which is always nice. Stripe is essentially this all-in-one tool that lets you accept payments and send payouts, and you can integrate it into your website or online store. It's pretty versatile in that way. Whether you're running a shop, selling services, or just need a way to invoice clients and get paid, Stripe has you covered. So, let's start with signing up. Once you're on the Stripe homepage, just look for the sign-in option, which is usually at the top right. Since this is your first time, you're going to click on sign up. You can sign up with your email address, which is the easiest way to go about it. Fill in your full name, select your country, and then create a password. Standard stuff, really, nothing complicated. Once you've entered all that info, just hit create account, and you'll be good to go. Now, after you sign up, you'll be taken to your main dashboard. This is like your central hub where you can access everything, your payments, customers, products, reports, all that good stuff. Don't get overwhelmed though, it's laid out in a way that's pretty intuitive. On the left hand side, you'll see a menu with options like home, payments, balances, customers, products, and reports. There's also a more tab, which has other options like payment links, invoices, subscriptions, and a few other features you can explore later on. To actually start accepting payments, you'll want to activate your account. There's usually a button that says activate payments right there on your dashboard. And when you click that, Stripe's going to ask for some business details. Now, this is where you fill in things like the type of business you run. You can select individual or sole proprietorship if it's just you, or choose another option if you're running a bigger operation. Next, they're going to ask for some personal information. This is standard stuff. They need things like your legal name, home address, and a social security number if you're in the US. It's basically so Stripe can verify who you are before they let you start accepting payments. Once you've filled all that out, you'll move on to adding your bank details. This is where the money you make will actually go, so make sure to have your bank account and routing numbers handy. Once you've done all that, your account will be activated, and you're ready to roll. Stripe makes it super easy to connect to any e-commerce platform you might be using, like Shopify, Wix, or even Amazon. If you've got an online store, it's just a matter of following the prompts to link it with Stripe, and then you can start accepting payments directly through your site. Easy, right? Once you've got the customer set up, it's time to process the payment. Stripe lets you manually enter card information for the payment, so you just input the customer's card details, and Stripe will handle the rest. You can even save the card information for future payments if the customer is a regular. Once all the details are entered, you hit submit, and the payment will be processed through Stripe. Invoices are another big part of Stripe, especially if you're dealing with clients. You can easily create an invoice by heading over to the invoices section of the dashboard. Click create new invoice and, just like with payments, you'll select a customer or add a new one. From there, you'll add the items or services you're billing for. Let's say you're invoicing for a service. You can add that as a line item, set the quantity, and put in the price. If it's a flat fee for one service, you just set the quantity to one and the price to whatever you're charging. You can also personalize the invoice by adding a memo, something like thanks for your business, or any other note that's relevant. You can even adjust the due date, so the customer knows when they need to pay. Once the invoice looks good, you can preview it, and then send it off via email. And here's a cool feature, you can download the invoice as a PDF, or generate a payment page that makes it super easy for your customers to pay online. No more waiting for checks to come in the mail. On the topic of payments, let's not forget about balances. In your dashboard, you'll see a balances tab, and that's where you can keep track of all the money you've received. It shows you how much you've got in your account, and if you want to transfer money to your bank account, that's the place to do it. You'll need to have your bank info on file, but once it's set up, you can transfer funds with just a few clicks. 
Now, I mentioned earlier that Stripe also has this feature where you can manage your customers. This is especially handy if you've got a lot of clients you work with regularly. You can add customers manually by clicking the Add Customer button. You just need the name, email, and any additional info you want to include, like a description or their billing address. Once they're in the system, it's easy to keep track of their payments and invoices. Products are another thing you can manage on Stripe. Let's say you're selling physical products or offering a set of services. You can go to the products section and add them one by one. Just enter the product name, description, and price, and you can even upload images if you want to make it look more professional. It's all about making it easier to build clients or customers and keep track of what you're selling. Stripe also gives you access to some pretty detailed reports. You can go to the reports section to check out things like how much you've earned in a specific time period, your expenses, and other financial metrics. It's really handy if you're trying to keep an eye on your cash flow or need to pull up some numbers for accounting. Now, here's where things get even cooler. Connecting Stripe with your e-commerce platform or other software tools. Stripe works with just about everything. Shopify, Wix, you name it. Once your Stripe account is set up, you can easily link it to your store. And from then on, payments will be processed through Stripe and all the sales info will be synced up automatically. It takes a lot of the hassle out of running an online store because you don't have to worry about manually tracking payments or updating your inventory. There's also a bunch of other features under the More tab, like subscriptions and recurring payments. If you've got customers who pay you regularly, like on a monthly basis, you can set up a subscription model in Stripe. It's all automated, so once the customer signs up, Stripe will handle the recurring billing, and you won't have to lift a finger. In terms of managing your business, Stripe is really an all-in-one solution. You can send invoices, track payments, manage customers, and even create custom payment links. Plus, if you're into coding or have a developer on hand, you can integrate Stripe's API to customize how payments work on your site. That's more advanced, but it's nice to know the options there if you ever need it. And hey, don't forget that you can access Stripe on the go. They've got a mobile app, so even if you're out and about, you can still keep an eye on your payments and invoices. It's super handy for small business owners or freelancers who are always on the move. Stripe is this really versatile, easy-to-use platform that makes handling payments a breeze. Whether you're invoicing clients, running an online store, or just need a secure way to accept payments, Stripe has got you covered. The setup process is simple, and once you're up and running, everything is pretty intuitive. Plus, with all the integrations available, it can grow with your business as you scale up. Hopefully, by now, you've got a solid understanding of how to get started with Stripe, and you're feeling ready to dive in and start accepting payments. If you're feeling good about Stripe, go ahead, set up your account, and start making the most of it.